has a recipe that they like to kind of make their own. Maybe it's like their signature dish. Maybe it's something that whenever someone comes over for dinner, they always make. Well, for me, that's the seafood cheddar. I may not be from Nova Scotia, but I like to think that I am. I moved here 11 years ago after I met my husband, who was a hardcore Haligonian. And one tradition that he taught me was that on Christmas Eve, you have to have seafood cheddar. So for the past 11 years, I've been playing with my recipe. A lot of people do a flour and butter roux, add milk, add stock, so it makes it nice and thick. I like mine to thicken with all the delicious things I put in there, all that seafood. So what I have here is my base. The base is the most important part because you can play with it. I've got butter, I've got bacon, I've got garlic, I've got leeks, onions, celery, I've got potatoes. I put in some of the nice Nova Scotian white wine, nice and crisp. I put a little bit of stock, whether it be a vegetable stock, a fish stock, or clam juice, and then a little bit of heavy cream. And what you want to do now is just cook it down. Cook it down until those potatoes get nice and soft. I've also added a little bit of fresh herbs. I put tarragon in this, and some salt and pepper, and a few bay leaves. So now that this has been cooking, my potatoes are cooked through, now is the time that I add all the seafood. Now you can put whatever you like, but today, what I have in my fridge is a bounty of Nova Scotia's finest. I've got oysters from Black Point, some fresh haddock, some smoked haddock. I've got some cold water shrimp, smoked oysters, just because I like a little bit of the smokiness to that, lobster meat, and crab meat. So, first I'm gonna do my oyster. I'm gonna shuck one of these babies. I like to put them in, all the seafood in, right at the very end, because you don't want it to cook too much because you don't want it to get tough and break down. So now that everything is nice and soft, I'm gonna start. So why not start with this oyster? And how do you know about oysters? And what should you know about them? Well, first of all, you always know an oyster is bad because you could smell it. Smell that oyster. It smells like the ocean, it smells like salt water. So I'm just gonna put that baby right in there. It's juice and everything. Salty and delicious. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. I'm gonna add some of my fresh haddock. Just a few pieces. I'm gonna add in a little bit of the smoked haddock. I'm just gonna flake that right in. You have to remember, as this cooks down for the next maybe 10 minutes, some of the stuff will break down. So don't worry about putting in too big pieces. I'm gonna put in some of my cold water shrimp, some of my crab meat, some of my lobster meat, because can't visit Nova Scotia and not have lobster. And just a few of these smoked oysters. Just gives it a little bit of something that people usually ask, what is that? All that in there, a little bit of corn, I like the sweetness, a little bit of fresh herbs. I've got parsley, dill, and thyme. I'm gonna turn this up, throw the lid on, bring this up to a boil, and then we're good to go. So this cheddar may be my Christmas tradition, but you can certainly make this any day of the year. Commit to local by using local, seasonal, and fresh ingredients that can be found anywhere in this great province of ours. Bon appétit.